Hey, you. You look like you could use some Star Fox in your life. I do? Here's some Star Fox adventures for you. Oh, this one. The one with all the adventures. With the dinosaurs, right? Yep, I figured since we did 64 and Assault, I figured we'd go ahead and do adventures as well, and you had expressed interest in seeing this, and, uh... I figure we'll go ahead and give it a try. This is gonna be just a playthrough of Star Fox Adventures. We're gonna be doing a lot of fun stuff. It's gonna be great. And look at all this cool stuff that's happening! You get to ride dinosaurs, you get to ride vehicles, you get to use all these powers and roll, and why do people don't like this game again? Because it's not Star Fox! Well, sir, it's Star Fox. I mean, look, there's Fox, and we just saw Peppy there for a while, and you know, he's he's not in his R wing, but it's still Star Fox. I mean, look at this cool shit. Yeah, How that's... can this be anything but a bad thing? What's going on? Welcome to Let's Play Star Fox Adventures. I think you said the key word there, out of the R wing. That's probably why people don't like it. But I'll <laughs> see for myself. Well, uh, I kind of like this game. Because I, 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 I had it as a kid, so of course I liked it. But there's a lot of issues. My first issue here is that uh, I can't use the control pad here. I have to use a control stick, so it's really, really sensitive. And it's just... Yeah, that's just that's one problem, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Blame the controller. <laughs> there's a lot of fun to be had in this game. I think people just need to just sit back, shut up, and enjoy the games that they have. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. With a text crawl. A text screen. The best way to start your adventures. Of course. Every time. The Dinosaur Planet? Isn't that what this game was originally called? Mm-hmm. Whoa! Now, I know my Dino speak, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, wow. It sounds like gibberish, but there's actually a pattern behind it. By replacing English letters with other letters, you get a whole new strange kind of, you know, I don't know. I'll link to the description about Saurian. That's what we kind of call it. It's called Dino Talk, but... Yeah, it's, that's neither here nor there. Right now we need to worry about this big gigantic ship in our way! Can you find an... staff away. Can you find an image of the original script and how they were supposed to make those sounds? Que <laughs> cool <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we'll, well, we'll get to that, but, uh, for now, we need to focus on taking this down, because now we're behind them, and, uh, let's just, uh, fire away. How are you firing? Just A. No, 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 I mean, like, what thing in the game is making you fire? Probably that bird, you know, shooting fireballs out of its mouth, and, you know, it doesn't matter how many hits I take, don't like it matters. Oh, really? You have infinite health. You can't die here. You can just sit here for like an hour and keep taking hits and you'll be fine. Just keep mashing A at stuff and you'll do just <laughs> fine. <laughs> oh, I just ran into a broken propeller. I'm fine. It's okay. So is Crystal. She's, she's okay, too. Look at that. You're on fire. And you just rush it off like it ain't no thing. Well, Pterodactyl is the best way to travel. I Reliable have and... They're very reliable, uh, they get great mileage, and uh, they make great company. I'll keep that in mind next time I have the chance to uh, ride on a pterodactyl. Uh, it feels like I could take out his head, but he just kind of flies off the screen here, and he's just like, Ah, eh, it's fine, I've had enough. Wow. A scripted boss fight with a ship? With a head dinosaur? Welcome what to Star is Fox this? Adventures. Where's Star Fox? Well, this is Crystal, and now you see two of the reasons why a lot of people bought this game. And that's really sad. She's a fox. She reignited the furry fandom single-handedly. You can still find great stuff of her to this day, and no, we're, no. We're, we're not going to... We are not going to dwell on it. We have better things to worry about. For example, we are now learning how the game works because our adventure is now beginning. Oh, God. You hear a voice? Shh. I can't there it hear is. Uh, I can't hear because I turned the volume down. Oh, what'd you do that for? <laughs> you need sound. So I can hear the right, dino speak. 
Well, it's kind of cool that the boxes kind of, you know, slide back and forth. That, that's, that's really cool. But here's where the, this, that voice was coming from that you didn't hear. That everybody else did. What? It works just like Zelda. You press A to talk to people. It, it's If you ever played a Zelda game in your life, a 3D Zelda game, it works just like that. That's another Left comparison foot, right. I've heard. Left foot, right foot, run a marathon. There you go. Just like Zelda. Explore below deck. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, uh, I apologize for this because uh, for my display playing the game and capturing, <laughs> it, it was really, really, really dark. I could not <laughs> see anything. It was pitch fucking black. I have no idea where I'm going. I could it's... not see. Oh, you can see now, but it was really dark when I got it. But uh, hey, enough of that. Here's a key. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Now let's hold up the key. Hey! Look how excited she is. Look how she's Whoa. still kind of swaying and not really holding it. Uh, eventually, it just uh. falls off to the side. <laughs> the inventory screen in this game is a little bit different. It's in real time, and you use the C stick. It's kind of strange, but you, you sort of have to get used to it. All right, I forgot the way out because I can't see. Really, it's just like black. <laughs> Nothing but black what I see. Another example of your amazing gaming prowess. I'm the best. <laughs> I could walk. I could walk underneath that lantern. Oh dear. So, just taking my fire bath. <laughs> Hello, I'm hot. General Scales. Hiko, Kohud, or Taskuki, if dinosaur planet. Another thing about Saurian, or Dino Talk, is that proper nouns are pronounced the way they normally are. It's a little jarring. Hmm. I noticed a bit of English. <laughs> That's the idea. Well, also, he's a but dinosaur. Listen to this. Apparently, his title is a proper noun as well. It's it's it's, it, it's a little weird. I'm not going to dwell on that. General. By the way, why does he need like a, a claw thing? He's a dinosaur with sharp claws. Well, he doesn't have it anymore. Duh. Oh, I guess I couldn't see that. He's missing a hand. Well, at least they didn't call him General Claw or something. General Hook. Well, well, already I like this guy, you know. We just see him on screen, he's not afraid to chuck a bitch off his boat. I'm just saying. Hey, game over. Awesome. I feel like his pimp hand is strong. <laughs> Have you seen it? It's currently having two knives on it. Now that we've dissed the general, we're gonna go find where that distress signal came from, which brings us to Krizoa Palace, which is a very central point in the game. Is it like a hub? Sort of, kind of. Uh, it's it's very plot important, and we'll be coming back here quite a few times. But uh, all we need to know it is the most sacred place of the dinosaurs. This is where like all of their magical powers and mythical creations. And General Scales just got through attacking the crap out of this place. Jellyfish. And there's oh yeah, there's electrical jellyfish in your way. Star Fox. <laughs> Thank you. I was gonna say that. <laughs> I'm just thinking, in a place filled with dinosaurs, there sure are a lot of jellyfish and not dinosaurs, except for that dead one back there. Jellyfishing, 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 jellyfishing. <laughs> Give me my net. <laughs> Well, actually, instead of nets, we have fuel barrels. Hey, buddy, what's up? The Earthwalkers. What stories do they have from their attack at Krozoa Palace? Land Before Time, the untold stories. It'd probably be better than the films after the first one. No kidding. Well, here's how the inventory works. Uh, like I said, which it, it works around C. You look at the icon, if it says you have something that you can use, you use C to get to the icon and then you use it. So it's kind of like a point-and-click adventure game in that sense, too. With It's just... it takes some time getting used to. But so... You throw the barrels you, and then they appear back in there. 
So you can't use your inventory until you go up to a C spot. You can only use it at certain contextual points. Hmm. So does that mean there are no projectile weapons or anything like that? You'll see. Right now, our first item, it is a Puck Puck Egg. It restores health. So you're a fox that eats dinosaur eggs. That's just one of the things that restores health. We'll, we'll never know what it's called again. It's, it's just going to be that brown sphere that restores my health. But if you what? saw them right there, they're moving. They are alive right now, and you're using them as health? Oh, they're fine. Don't worry about them. What's wrong with you? Here, I am the protector of the dinosaurs, but let me eat your eggs. I'm protecting you! It's okay if I do it because I'm on the good I'm on the good guy's side. <laughs> I'm the protagonist, thank you very much. I'm allowed to kill the unborn. Play I love again. what these I love what these items are called. Dumbledang pods. <laughs> Dumbledang. Well, Dumbledang. Dumbledore, Dumbledang, Dumbledarn. Well, we could go like for it, but we need to go around the corner here, around this corner here, and there's our fuel barrel generator, which we're going to need to take with us to go and blow up a wall. But first, we'll take care of that guy, and then, well, yeah, yeah, I think you can put two and two together from here. I love how you're sending the jellyfish to the heavenly light. That's how all like, that's how all enemies die. They, they they don't like you know explosive blood or anything. They just ascend to a heavenly plane in the sky. Wow, really? And how the fuck did I miss that? <laughs> Game of that the year. Bullsh that's bullshit. <laughs> fuck it. I don't care if I get burned. Uh, that, that, that's just crap. <laughs> oh, this game is already showing its true colors. I like it. It's 2002. I think this game looks really, really good, though. The graphics are really, really, really crazy good, actually, for 2002. Yeah, it looks fine. And you'll see when we get more close-up and we get to more uh, interesting locales instead of on a bird's back, on a ship, and in a stone temple. I thought you missed it again. I was gonna laugh. <laughs> I was just gonna laugh at you. That's terrible. Ideally, we'll try not to mess up as much in this playthrough. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. We'll see. And cutscene. Keo Krisoa, Dut Uwe Kutsak. Just like the rest of us. Dut Wo. Los ag Uwe Keo Krot Keo Tashkov Shodok. Well, she really, really, really cares about that distress signal. She actually got the wrong planet. She just ended up on a planet full of dying dinosaurs, and they're like, "Help us! No, I need to find the distress signal." General Scales had like 15 slaves on his boat that Crystal ignores because I need to find the source of that distress signal. <laughs> Crystal, no, actually, uh, one of the slaves happens to be like her long lost cousin. It's like Crystal, you came to save me. No. Well, the idea is that this place is the resting place of their their spirits, their deities that watch over them. I suppose. Oh, I thought I thought you were about to say like their gravesite. So why do they care if they die here? Th their their power can be used to do uh, something. I don't I don't know. So wait, you say you love this game, but you can't explain it? Well, it's not that I can't explain it. It's that I just don't care. Oh, it's one of those games. Just go with it. <laughs> they say they, they say do the thing, and I go do the thing, and then we do the thing, and then people get happy. But whatever. Pure of heart. Do a test. Get a spirit. Come back. Unleash its power. Good things happen. We take care of scales because scales fucked everything up. How's that for an explanation? You need anything more, princess? No, no, that sounds pretty good. I just wish you would have told me that in the first place instead of admitting that you don't care. <laughs> well, you really sort of have to not think in this game because if you take this game incredibly seriously, you're going to not be having fun here. Where's Star Fox? He'll be here soon. Right now we need to do our first Krizoa Spirit test. And you do like a short dungeon, Zelda dungeon sort of thing, and then you do a puzzle, and then you get your spirit. 
Every time Krizoa is said, it's said in all caps. So power that in the wrong hands could bring terror, but in the right hands, the spirits can bring... Oh, man, it's not going to say it again, is it? Nah. Oh, it didn't do it that time! Nope. Only once. Darn it, I was going to yell it and be annoying. And now my most hated part of this game. <laughs> the ladders! Uh, <laughs> snake Eater! <laughs> What a thrill to climb this <laughs> stupid long ass ladder, man. I think that's the only game that made ladder climbing interesting. Yeah. Back there is a life force door. You need to kill all the enemies in the room, or however many it says, before you can go forward. Obviously, we need to kill that thing with this, so let's do it! Yes! Yes, it's going so smoothly now. That could have gone better. <laughs> all right. Just gotta anyway. line it up a little bit. Controls aren't really ideal here. There you go. Again, 2002, you, you, you use what you can use, what you're given. Can we really say that? Because there were a lot of good games that came out for the GameCube in 2002. Like Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime's far better. And Thank I think you. this came out. I think this came out in 2003 in the U.S. anyway, but we need a fuel barrel because this is a pressure switch here. Oh, of course. Point is, point is I had fun with this game. If you gave it a chance... You'd probably have fun, too. Everybody if you give it a fun. chance as you walk into fire. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I'm not exactly at the ideal place, which means I can't show off as much in this uh, test here. But t test one is the test of observation. There are six tests in all, and they're all ridiculous mini-games, but <laughs> <they're>, <laughs> a lot of them are fun. But uh, we'll get there. Alright. Let me get there. Here. Here we go, it's time for the test of observation! This one is follow me in the basket. I'm gonna switch around and then you find the one. You can still move around freely though, as it's switching around, so you can follow it if you want to, but the thing is, when they move around, they hurt you. And I don't want to demonstrate that they hurt you right now, because you can see if I <laughs> even so much as get sneezed on, I'm going to die, and that's not a great way to start off this Let's Play, is it? <laughs> That would be beautiful! And I lost track because I was laughing, so where is it? <laughs> Don't worry, I find it every time. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. If, do you if you pay attention, if, if you pay attention, a baby could do it. Do you remember that uh, that ghost in Luigi's Mansion that hid in the jars? I think. Pretty much did the same thing. Name was Jarvis. So this is a recycled thing from Luigi's Mansion! Hmm. This entire game is recycled. Alright, this, uh... I don't think I would ever want to get a Krizoa Spirit if this is what happens to you every time. Okay, I gotta I mean, see this. I mean, just one... <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is actually very nice. It kind of... kind of tingles, really. Can you imagine if it had, like, two different reactions? Like, you're yelling on the outside, but on the inside you're just like, ah... Oh with her eyes. I can confirm that she will keep this pose forever. <laughs> and I love it here when you uh, go forward, her fridge kind of... Eh. <laughs> I did it! Right? Right. So now, we, now we got a spirit inside of us and we're inside Krizoa Palace, so that works out pretty well. <laughs> so does this game break? <laughs> um, there Please might be bonus videos, <laughs> and uh, we will definitely have fun with those. But let's focus. Let's focus at the immediate task at hand. Yes, we have a yes. Kazoa spirit in us, and we need to put it back in this place so it can restore power and stop the war. And I already explained this bullshit. And that jellyfish is just kind of hanging out. And it's like, hey, you guys need me for anything? So let me get this straight. I know you told me not to focus on the plot, but I kind of have to. In order to get a Krizoa spirit, you had to play hide-and-seek with one, and then take it further into its own palace. Mm-hmm. But Why? it's scattered all across the planet. Oh, uh, okay. It didn't really right. explain that, either that I wasn't paying attention. Can't go that way. Here's where you, uh, go your spirit. All right. No, no one's following us over there. Okay. It's gonna go ahead and look over around this right here. Nothing, nothing over there. 
And uh, anything over here? All right, nothing's over here. Nothing is over here. All right, all right, let's pray. What? <laughs> it's pulling that. Dead. Again, that looks like that hurts. Well, you didn't hear her internal screaming. <laughs> She's trying to put on a brave face. <laughs> In front of all the dying dinosaurs. From, from the searing pain. <laughs> <laughs> this is giving me Resident Evil 5 flashbacks of the light beams. Boop! Whee! <laughs> hey. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, hey, dude, dude, guess what? Dude, mm -hmm. guess what? Guess what, dude? Guess Wait, what? What? G guess what? Guess what, dude? Oh, guess what? I, I think I guess know. Guess fucking I... what, man? Guess what, dude? I, I think I all know. Right. All right, all right, all right. So, you know, you, you know this chick here? This chick, this chick, Crystal? This chick, Crystal, right here, man. Guess what, dude? This chick, Crystal? This chick, Crystal? She's in a fucking crystal! Oh! <laughs> oh! 